Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will have a team escape again, but this time from a very strange prison. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> yes, this is the prison of the lead singer of the musical group Ice Spice. Okay, this is really the weirdest. But it looks like this is what we will have to play today. And by the way, we have already found ourselves a teammate. I really hope that together with this teammate, we will be able to pass this game normally. And by the way, our appearance still remains the same strange because last time we did not manage to pass the game to the end. I hope that today we will definitely cope because we have a teammate who helps us to pass this game from the very beginning of the game. Oh, I immediately remembered the last team game in which we came across a disgusting teammate who got with us to the very end, but in the very last test he betrayed us. Because of him, we had to end this game right before the very end. Oh yeah, I remember this guy too. I really hate him as much as I can, but I hope that this teammate won't betray us. At least now she's showing pretty good results, and I think that together with her, we'll be able to get through this game. Yes, she really is doing quite well with all these tests so far. And by the way, we reached a room in which there are a huge number of other players. It is possible that now we will all go together to go through further tests ahead. And now we need to run forward. It looks like this woman is running right behind us, but she doesn't have enough movement speed to catch up with us. And by the way, it's pretty funny that we're running in four together with other players. It was pretty easy to escape from her, but it looks like our teammate Sloka didn't have time, and she accidentally got caught right by this woman. I think we should wait for her here together with the other players. By the way, she has the same skin as the other girl. At first I confused her with her, but it looks like she finally managed to pass this test, and now together with her we can go further. I am very glad that we got this particular teammate. It seems to me that she is a very kind and sympathetic girl. Okay, now we need to help her run to us. In fact, I like it better when we run forward first so that we can explore the whole situation. I think she also likes this order of actions better. Okay, now we will need to travel through this ventilation. And it looks like we have reached a dead end. Now, we need to run in a completely different direction in order to go straight to the next test. Wow, we are in a new room and there are already four buttons. I think it will be very difficult not to get confused in all this. Yes, it is really very strange that the developers decided to add three buttons already in the middle of the game, but it seems to me that they decided to do this in order to make this game very difficult. And I really like it. Okay, now let's help other players get to the finish line. I think that we should help all players because they sometimes help us too. That sounded pretty noble. I totally agree with you. I also think that we really need to help all the other players because in return, they will help us and in this way, we will pass all these games much faster. It looks like this player is a little stuck. I think she forgot what she needs to do. She doesn't really want to press that pink button. Okay, with the help of Bug, we're back to those buttons. And now we can help them all move forward. In fact, it really pisses me off when other players start lagging. Oh no! Unfortunately, we touched the green platform and died. Okay, now we'll respawn and I think we'll really help everyone get forward. Wow, look, our teammate got forward first and now it looks like she'll be pressing buttons for all the other players. It seems that this test will be the hardest for us because not all players understand what they need to do. In fact, I think that we should just continue playing this game together with our teammate. And by the way, we could have gone forward here with the help of this bug, but unfortunately we didn't succeed. Well, I think that during the next attempt we should definitely be able to completely complete this game. I don't think that now we should wait for the rest of our teammates if they are so stupid. It actually sounds pretty logical, and it seems to me our teammate understood it too. And now she pressed these buttons just for us to go forward. And now we will need to get to the other end of this cliff together on this pink platform. It looks like the girl who came first went first on this platform. 
It seems to me that our teammate forgot a little that she can stand on this platform with us. But now we will stand on the pink button and wait until she gets to us because we definitely can't betray her because she helps us pass every test. Now let's go forward through this ventilation. By the way, in this game there is ventilation again and it looks like this is also a labyrinth. But it's good that here too, there was only one dead end. Okay, now we need to break these boards and go forward. Further, these tests seem to me to be a little easier than the previous ones because there are only two buttons. But it seems to me that in the tests that await us ahead, a little more than two buttons. Okay, now, I think that the next players should help us. Now we need to wait until this girl presses the button. Oh, she decided to troll all the other players. Okay, well, I guess she won't do it anymore. I think if other players saw how we look now, they definitely wouldn't help us because we really look as creepy as possible with these red faces. I really hope that they can really help us make it so that we get to the next games as soon as possible because I really want to get my old appearance back. It seems to me that this is our main goal in completing these games, and I am very interested in what part of this game we have already completed because we have been playing it for quite a long time, and I would like to get to the finish line as soon as possible. I wonder what the final test will be in this game. I think the final challenge in this game will be a fight with the final boss! I really hope that this fight will be really interesting and impressive because fights with final bosses are really boring! Okay, we sent our teammate up with this elevator, and now we will use it to go here too. We are actually going through this game pretty fast today. Wow, look! These are my favorite challenges where we have to choose a lava and water skin and then use the platforms on our heads to jump on each other to move forward. Yes, this test is really very cool and it is definitely impossible to pass it alone. But with the help of our faithful teammate, we were able to pass this test. Now we need to slide down this hill and ahead of us there is another test with buttons in the sewer. I think we won't have any problems with this test because it looks pretty simple. All we need is to just run forward and press two buttons. And finally, we've completely passed this sewer. Well, the next test already looks more difficult because it has three buttons. I think in this test, we should let our teammate go first so that we are fully responsible for passing this test. And by the way, our teammate passed this test quite quickly. I hope that now, thanks to her, we will pass it ourselves just as quickly. I think she will definitely cope with this task because she coped with all the previous tests quite quickly and it was really very easy. Okay, now we need to go forward along these boards. Wow, look, she did it. Oh no, we accidentally fell into a hole and now we are caught in some kind of trap. We need to jump inside this cage to escape from her. Great, we escaped took some bazooka, and now we need to defeat the final boss. Okay, it seems to me that defeating this boss will not be so difficult because she only has 1,000 HP, and our weapon deals 50 damage to her. She has less than half of her total HP left, and I actually thought this boss fight would be a lot harder. But all we have to do is just shoot her and not get caught by those red circles. Great! The final boss is finally defeated, and now we can head straight to the exit. Finally, we were able to get our old look back. We couldn't do it for three days in a row, but now we look like usual again. Well, I really like this game. Now let's move on straight to the next game. I wouldn't say it's scary, because here we just need to escape from the pony factory. So far, everything seems to be going fine in this game. Oh no, some evil ponies were flying towards us. And because of that, our plane's engine broke. It looks like our plane is falling down now, and our collision with this factory is inevitable. It looks like our plane crashed into the roof of this building after all! Okay, it's time to try to find a way out of here and figure out how we can escape from here. Okay, we found ourselves in some strange fence, and now we need to click on this lamppost so that we can get over it. Great! Now we need to go where the green arrows point us. By the way, it always seemed to me extremely strange that in such games, there are always some arrows that show us the right exit. Oh look, this game also has valves. I hope there won't be too many of these valves here because I have a small trigger for everything related to valves, and I think I'm starting to hate them in principle. 
By the way, it also looks like here we will be collecting some kind of films on which there are some recordings. This is really very strange. Okay, we picked up a crowbar. And with the help of this crowbar, we opened up a wooden floor. And now we are heading further into some kind of sewer. It's good that there aren't many vents in this game, because these vents... To be honest, I'm already really tired of them. Okay, now we need to press some levers so that additional platforms appear on which we can jump. You know, I actually really like this game so far, because here we really have to put in a lot of effort to pass it. And I also like the design here. All the objects here look somehow unusual. We were just talking about the vents, and here is the first one. Well, okay. Actually, this vent wasn't that long, and that's why it didn't upset us too much. Now we need to turn on the fan, and it looks like we're in for a run with the fans. Yes, this is really very similar to the fan race. And now we will have to overcome this entire route. Wait, seriously? This route was so short, I didn't even have time to enjoy it. Okay, now let's go up. Here we need to use these buttons to activate these platforms. There really is a huge number of different tasks here. I'm even surprised that you really need to do so many different things here. And it's really cool. I haven't seen such a variety of games for a long time. Okay, now we've made our way through the ventilation and ended up in some other room. I wonder what awaits us. Oh no, my god, this is a very cruel pony. And it looks like it will be very difficult for us to fight against him because our weapons consist of several parts that are scattered at different ends of this map. I think we will easily collect all the parts of this weapon and will be able to fight against this monster. By the way, this guy is very scared and he really wants us to help him collect all these weapons. I don't think it will take us much time. In fact, there is a really huge location here. And the most important thing is just not to fall down. Otherwise, we will have to fight this monster. Although, in fact, we will not be able to fight him without weapons. Most likely, we will just have to run away from him. I really don't want to go down. Okay, look, we've already found another part of the weapon. Well, we just have a little bit left to do so that we can finally assemble this weapon completely. Great! Now this weapon is finally assembled. Well, I think now with this weapon we can start fighting this pony boss. It's strange that we can't break the door with this weapon. Okay, let's shoot this pony. It deals 150 damage to him and he has 1,000 HP in total. And I think it won't be difficult for me to kill him at all. Finally, this pony is defeated and now we can go to the door. Cool! It turns out that in order to go through this door, we first had to kill this pony. Oh no, look! It looks like there is someone in the ventilation. Oh my god! It looks like now these ponies will hunt us and we will have to fight against them. In fact, they look extremely creepy. Oh no, god! There really are a lot of them here, and they even managed to damage us. It looks like we now need to always go with a gun at the ready, because it seems to me that these ponies can appear at the most unexpected moment for us from the most unexpected place. They have very creepy faces. I would not like to see such ponies in real life, and there are really a lot of them. They just keep running out of this room after us, but it looks like we managed to defeat them all. Well, that's really cool. We picked up another film strip and now we're moving on. It looks like there are some really scary tests here. Oh, we got to some really weird place and it looks like this elevator broke down, but at least we're saved now and we can move forward. I really hope we get to the finish line as soon as possible. By the way, this guy has already gotten here and he tells us that we need to find some key. Wow, wait. That's some really huge pony. Oh no, it looks like she's cooking some really creepy soup. Okay, we need to try to steal that key from her somehow. It looks like we won't be able to steal this key. We'll have to fight her. And by the way, it seems to me that this room is too small for a fight with her because she moves quite quickly. Yes, her movement speed really surprises me. But it looks like this fight with the boss will really be the longest. It turned out that this fight with the boss will really be the longest. And we fought with her for a huge amount of time. And therefore, for you, we slightly sped up this process so that you don't have to watch it for a long time.
Oh my god, finally! We were able to defeat him. I really didn't believe that this would ever happen, but we finally got this key and now we can finally escape from here. Oh my god, we spent a really huge amount of time to defeat this boss. Okay, now we've reached some elevator. I really hope that we'll finally be able to get out of this room on this elevator because it's really starting to scare me a lot. I don't hope. Oh my god. What's going on? Why are these weird sharp things starting to pierce the roof of our elevator? Looks like someone didn't want us to get to the finish line after all. Okay, we stopped at one of the floors and now it looks like we'll have to run over these lasers. By the way, that guy is standing here again and waiting for us. Okay, I really hope that we can handle this challenge without any problems. There's some huge number of traps ahead. Okay, it looks like we need to somehow overcome all these traps in order to find the key card from this door. They are really quite close to each other and getting through them will be really very difficult. Great, we have a key card and now together with this key card we can overcome all these traps and go straight to the door. But unfortunately we stepped on one of the traps and now we have restarted together with this key card in our hands. Okay, it's even easier than we thought. Now we will open this door and go further. I'm very curious about what awaits us behind this door. By the way, this game is really quite long and it seems to me that it will really take us a lot of time to complete it completely. In fact, it seems to me that today we will not have enough time and we will even be able to stretch this entire walkthrough into two parts because we really do not have time for this part. I think that we will still have to do this. Well, guys, in that case, if you give this video a huge number of likes and write comments under it, then we will definitely film the second part of our walkthrough of this game. And now I think that we will get to the very end of this test and go straight to the next game together with you. Wait, did they really give us a jetpack in this game? Okay, it looks like it's really going to make this game a lot easier. Okay, let's move on and try to beat this game as soon as possible. I think with this jetpack we can do it. Wait, what is this guy doing here? He looks really funny. Okay, it's really cool that we have a jetpack because we can overcome a lot of different challenges with it. Yes, I think that even here we cannot jump on these platforms. Wow, look, we really just flew over this pit with spikes. And now we go straight to the boss Peppa Pig. We can just press this button and fly away from it up on the jetpack. Okay, that was really as easy as it gets. I didn't think we could escape from the first boss so easily. Wait, Bluey! I think we are in no hurry to escape from here. Maybe we should look at the scenery. The developers of this game decided to put something here instead of prison cells. This is Peppa Pig's house. Look, there are palm trees with bananas. And there is also Peppa Pig's mom and dad. And in this game, the developers really tried very hard on all the decorations, and I really like how it all looks. Okay, I think you just need to continue to move forward no matter what. I completely agree with you. Let's continue playing this game. By the way, this ventilation is very pink. This is an extremely strange choice of color for this ventilation. But it seems that the developers like it better this way. And now we need to dig a tunnel and we will find ourselves right in the dungeon. Look! In this dungeon, the developers also slightly changed the arrangement of the different platforms. And I really like it! Okay, I think that here we will not use the jetpack, but just go through this test as we should because it seems to me that the jetpack is a very serious cheat here. I think these developers didn't add this jetpack here for nothing. And by the way, we're going through this game at the same speed. Usually we do it even faster, but today, for some reason, we're doing it a little longer. Maybe it's because we stopped to look at the scenery because the scenery in this game is really cool. But making these weird pictures in the hallway was a pretty weird decision. Yeah, I didn't expect to see it here either. Okay, it looks like the developers decided not to think at all about what they would add here, and that's why they added exactly this. Okay, let's see what challenges await us next. I really hope there will be something more beautiful. Okay, it looks like these gates don't close at all, and now we've reached some very strange Peppa Pig. Yes, of course it was Peppa Pig who looked the most unusual. It looks like the developers wanted to make Daddy Pig here because this pig had a blue t-shirt, but he didn't look like him at all. Okay, now let's go up. 
I think it's a waste of time for us to climb up these half-ruined steps on our own. Because we could have used the jetpack, and now we'll have to go up in this elevator. Yeah, I really want to get up there, too. We really need to see what the energy drink run is going to be like. I hope it's really fun. Okay, we've already reached this race, and just look at these platforms. There are a lot of different trees on them that we'll need to run through. And by the way, I thought that these trees would be transparent, but it turns out that we can even accidentally crash into them. Well, that adds a little difficulty to this game. But it seems to me that even so, you will not have any problems with passing this game because you move on all these platforms very quickly and without mistakes. And by the way, we got to the finish line, and here, for some reason, right under the stairs, there is blood. This blood really scares me. I hope there won't be any boss waiting for us up there. Okay, since we have a jetpack, we don't have to take the ladder. We just open the hatch. And by the way, there was no need to take this ladder initially because there were already boxes under this ventilation. Okay, now, we need to go through this bridge with a fan and not fall on these spikes, but I think we will cope with this task perfectly. And by the way, they also added a fence near this hole. This is usually not done by developers of other Roblox modes. And now we will have to pass our least favorite test, namely the tests with valves. In fact, it seems to me that the developers of these modes are extremely lazy and never change their location. Yes, this is a real problem. I think that someday the developers will do it. Okay, now let's go back. By the way, blue. And why don't you use the jetpack? You could have flown from this platform right to the ventilation. In fact, I just still think that this is really cheating and it should not be abused. And by the way, this jetpack has a limited supply of fuel. Because of this, we can waste it in vain and then not be able to use it when we really need it. In that case, I really agree with you. And we maybe should keep it for ourselves. Okay, now let's head straight to the fan race, and now we need to go as fast as possible. Yes, let's finally finish this test right now. I really want to see what the next boss will look like. It's quite possible that the next eight will be Mama Pig. And now we need to make a jump in this pipe. It's pretty easy. And now we're finally down. Wait, but for some reason we're landing very slowly. Oh no, that bug has happened again, which is why we're going down very slowly. It looks like it might ruin our progress in this game. I really hope that this doesn't happen today because I really want to get to the end of this game. And if we don't do it, then I'll be very upset because then we won't be able to get back our previous appearance. It seems to me that she can also jump as high as we can and it looks like she is stuck at the top on some invisible platform. Okay, we need to make her go down. This one is actually pretty easy, but I think it would be safer for us if she stayed up there. And by the way, not all our shots hit her, and that's starting to piss me off a little. I'm also extremely annoyed by this, but she keeps fighting us with this frying pan. Hooray! We were finally able to defeat her, and now the explosion has pushed us to the other side. Okay, now we need to try to slide down this slide. Well, let's try to go down. Oh no, because of this bug, we really go down as slowly as possible. It seems to me that we won't succeed. Okay, wait, did we really stop rolling and now we'll just go down there using our feet? Okay, it looks like the developers of this game really need to fix this a little bit. It seems to me that this descent will be extremely long and boring. In fact, it is very good that we have the opportunity to fly there on a jetpack because in this way, we will be able to reach the end of this game. This is really starting to annoy me a little bit. Okay, I think we're going to have to actually use the jetpack to get across this gap, because even though we're jumping pretty high, we won't have enough power from our jump to get across that huge distance. By the way, we have plenty of fuel in our jetpack, and with this fuel, we can fly right to the door that leads to this wind tunnel. This was seriously the easiest. I didn't think we could actually get through this. Now let's go up in this laser challenge. Wait, what's going on? Why aren't we going up? This works pretty weird. It looks like we won't be able to get to the very top today. What a pity. 
Unfortunately, I really wanted to complete this game, but we won't be able to do it today because of the bug. In fact, I really like this game, but because of this bug, my entire impression of it was ruined. Now let's move on to the next game. You forgot to say that we will do this in difficult mode. I think today it will be much more difficult for us. But the most important thing is that we look normal for now. I hope that our appearance will not change today. Let's just hurry up. We really need to hurry in order to beat this game today. And by the way, it looks like we still need to collect some pink candies here. I don't think we'll be able to do this today. This is some kind of secondary task. Okay, then we shouldn't be distracted by this. Look, this is some kind of house. Wait, what happened? As soon as we crossed the threshold of this house and we became these creepy red creatures again. God, I hoped this wouldn't happen today. Okay, looks like we now have a lot more incentive to finish this game today. Well, let's go and complete all these challenges. I really hope we can do it. I think you can be sure of this because we have already completed this game and I think that even on the difficult level of difficulty, we will be able to do it. So far, I actually don't see any differences between the normal difficulty level and the harder one. In fact, we are going through this game exactly the same way as we did before and it seems to me that this hard difficulty level is a deception. Now let's see what happens next. I think we'll see some complications here. Now the main thing for us is to overcome all these platforms and not fall into this strange brown liquid. By the way, I still haven't figured out what it is. Maybe it's hot chocolate. Yes, it is quite possible that this is it. But in fact, it will be quite strange if in fact it is Coca-Cola or something much worse. I don't even want to think about what option you meant last. I think now we just need to overcome all this and move on. By the way, these yellow arrows point us to some kind of descent. To be honest, in real life, I would never jump from such a height. I think our character is absolutely not afraid. This is because he landed on some donut. Okay, we move on. And now we have passed through another checkpoint. By the way, it seems to me that these lollipops have started to spin a little faster. I totally agree with you. They do spin a little faster. But the main thing for us is not to touch them because we will get fatal damage from one touch. Now we will have to overcome this whole route with lollipops, and I hope that we will do it on the first try. I think this is not such a difficult task that we can spend a lot of time on, because further I think the tests will be a little more difficult. And by the way, we have to pass by the last lollipop, and we will find ourselves in this house again. And here is this house! Let's see what awaits us inside it! I hope that no one will kill us here. Oh no, wait! Are you serious? This is the same doll and she is sitting here on the chair? Okay, she looks really creepy, but it looks like she is not moving at all. Okay, I think we should stop exploring this house and jump into the hole that is in that room again. Looks like we really need to jump there as soon as possible. Wow, look, we're in some kind of corridor and here we need to press some buttons. Wait, it's her again, and this time she followed us down into this corridor. Okay. So we need to look for buttons in this corridor in order to open this door and go further. Now we need to run into this room. Okay, the door is closed here. So we need to look for the button here. Oh, look! The second button was right next to this cabinet. Okay, the developers really tried very hard to hide it very well. And here is the third room. Look, there is another button here. And we finally pressed it. Now we need to run straight to the door that we just opened with these buttons and go further. And by the way, we have already passed almost half of the game. We need to hurry very much so that we can return our previous appearance in this game. Good thing she's not running here after us. And she's actually moving pretty slow. Oh no. Unfortunately, we missed one of the candies in this game. Well, I guess that's not a big deal because we're not going to collect them all anyway. By the way, these things also started to spin a little faster. I think only now I really started to understand the complexity of this game. 
I think it will be really hard to get through because these things are spinning as fast as possible. It's good that here we actually know where that very place is through which these strange yellow things pass. Because if these marks weren't on these sticks, it would be much harder for us to avoid colliding with them. Finally, we got to the end of this spinning thing. Actually, this challenge was the hardest because it was really hard for me to make sure we could jump over all these obstacles. And by the way, this speed is really too high. I think it made this game much more difficult, but I think I can still complete it without any problems. I really hope so too. I really want us to finish this game as soon as possible and get back to our normal appearance. Okay now. We need to go along this beam, but there are no longer any marks on it where these yellow things actually touch it. Okay, this is pretty easy for us, and we were able to pass another test again. By the way, there is another candy behind this hatch, but I don't see the point in taking it because we have already missed candies before. We went down one more floor and here again these strange swinging things, but we were able to overcome them again, and now we will need to move on these rotating platforms. And this challenge looks really hard because all these platforms are spinning really fast. But I think you definitely shouldn't have any problems with passing all these challenges. Look, we've already reached the next checkpoint. I think you're really a pro at passing these kinds of games. I'm actually trying really hard to beat this game as fast as possible because I really want to get our old appearance back too. Okay, we just jumped on this bear and saved at another checkpoint. And by the way, we're really close to the finish line. We only have a very small part of this game left to go. Look, there's some door ahead and we need to get into it right now. Okay, we've reached some arena and now we're going to fight against this candy princess. It's good that we have a weapon with which we can shoot at her. And by the way, it's pretty fast firing and deals her 10 damage. Yeah, I really like the fact that this gun shoots as fast as possible. The most important thing now is to kill this candy princess so we can move on. I think you wanted to say that we need to kill her in order to return our previous appearance. By the way, it is quite difficult to hit her because when we shoot at her hair, we mini damage her. But we need to shoot at her body. Great, we were able to kill her. It looks like it's not over yet. She's still trying to kill us. But I don't think she has a chance. Just look! The chandelier on top of the ceiling is swinging and she was finally able to kill her completely. Great! Finally! Now we're free! Finally we have returned our previous appearance. I am very happy about it. In fact, this game is really quite good and I like to play it because it has a very cool design and very interesting tests. Well, now that we have completely completed this game, I suggest moving straight to the next game. As soon as we launched this game, we immediately turned into these red creepy creatures. We didn't even have time to start recording this video. And in this game, I will have to escape from these extremely creepy Sonics. I think I have never seen them so creepy. It looks like this happened to us solely because these guys are so creepy. Okay, it looks like we're about to meet the first one, and to do that, we need to take a wrench and open the ventilation. I really want to see what this first boss will really look like. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen such a creepy Sonic. Oh my god, his face is absolutely as creepy as it gets, and he has long, creepy arms. I really don't want to go near him. That's why we need to run to the button as quickly as possible. It seems to me he is as fast as a real Sonic, and he really can't catch up with us. But we are already on the second floor. And by the way, Sony didn't even run up the stairs. He just stayed down. It seems he doesn't know how to use the stairs. In fact, we are very lucky here, and now we can escape from him through the room with toilets. This is very cool. By the way, it is quite strange that there was no roof in this location. Now we got to the room with toilets, and now we need to dig a tunnel. By the way, it's quite strange that the developers always leave the tunnel in the same toilet stall. We don't even open other toilet stalls anymore. We just go in here. Yes, I also think it would be great if the developers constantly hid this tunnel in different toilet stalls, and then this game would become even more interesting. Okay, now you need to get through this bridge further and go straight to the corridor with the rolling boulder. 
By the way, I really like the design of this game. It seems to me that the developers tried very hard here. They even made a fake platform because of which we fell into the water. Okay, we finally got to the corridor. Just look at this ball. It glows green and it is very bright. And I very rarely see that the developers make these balls so beautiful. But it looks like the developers really did a great job with this game. Okay, now we need to run to the next turn and wait for this ball to roll past us again. Finally, it happened. Well, okay, now we can go straight to the next boss. I really want to see what he will look like in this game. Let's go there and see. Okay, we've already reached this location. Oh no, just look, it's a completely different Sonic. She's pink and she's running right after us. Okay, she also looks extremely creepy and we were able to easily avoid meeting her and head straight for the half-destroyed steps. We are going through this game, by the way, today quite quickly. We are already climbing these steps and only 160 seconds have passed. It looks like we will be able to cope with this game in record time today. By the way, this bra looks really cool. It's all white and translucent. Now we need to go up on it straight to the energy drink run. And by the way, this location with energy drinks hasn't been changed at all. The developers just added blue walls here. I think there is nothing wrong with that because the developers really did a great job with all the other aspects of this game. Well, now we need to get to the finish line as soon as possible. Because to be honest, I'm already tired of looking like this. I also really want to finish this game as soon as possible. And by the way, I am very annoyed by the constant pop-up notifications that we should add this game to favorites. They really do sometimes appear at the most inopportune moment. But it seems that the developers do this specifically so that people accidentally click the yes button and add this game to favorites. I think this is not a completely honest move. I totally agree with you, but it looks like the developers have no other choice to promote their game. Okay, now we've put the ladder right under the ventilation and now we're heading straight to the bridge with the fan. By the way, this player in our friend's costume doesn't seem to know how to play this game at all, and that's why he fell. I think that the developers of this game really should add some innovations here, because for now it is completely similar to Barry's Prison Escape. Only here, the design of this game has been changed very cool. Now let's go up these pipes! Now we need to get to our least favorite test in this game, and I generally want to pass it as quickly as possible, because it really irritates me and it is extremely uninteresting to play. Yes, this test is really boring as can be, and I still keep hoping that one of the developers will actually change the location of these vents someday. But for now, they remain the same. Okay, we have already completed this test, and now we need to go straight to the fan race. By the way, I really hope that the developers of this game did not increase the distance between platforms. Although it seems to me that, on the contrary, it would be better if they increased it. But the main thing is that they did not decrease it. Well, actually, the distance between platforms here is quite big, and I think that the developers did everything right here. Okay, let's just finish this test and move on. By the way, it's funny that the platforms here are painted blue. It creates a very cute atmosphere. Okay, we finally got to the wind tunnel. And now we need to make a jump. Oh no. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough jumping power to fly to this ventilation, but we still managed to get there. And now we're heading straight to the cafeteria. Just look, it's Knuckles and he looks as creepy as can be. Oh my God, their huge toothy mouths scare me so much. I really don't want them to touch us. Well, let's quickly grab this bazooka and start shooting at him. I want to defeat him as soon as possible because I really don't want to see him. And by the way, our bazooka in this game is the fastest firing. By shooting, you killed him really fast and we defeated him in a matter of seconds. Well, okay, that was really the coolest. Now let's go down this hill. Finally, we are at the other end of this abyss, and now we have only two tests left to go through before meeting the final boss. And these are the easiest tests in this game because they are passed as easily as possible. Now we need to climb this ladder, and we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel with lasers. I think we have never lost the laser challenge in this game because it is really the easiest. 
We already know the trajectory we need to fly. I think we even fly the same trajectory in every game without even realizing it. There's one last laser left that we need to fly past. Okay, we finally did it. Well, now let's head straight to the last test before meeting the final boss and pass it with the help of our life hack. In fact, I think it's worth stopping calling it a life hack because absolutely all players come for this test in this way. Okay, let's try to pass this test as quickly as possible and finally defeat the final boss. I'm in a hurry. I really, really want to pass this test as quickly as possible. Okay, we've already reached the final boss. Wait, seriously? It's just a regular Sonic robot that's just moving in our direction. Well, okay. I think we'll beat it as easily as possible because we have a really fast firing cannon. Finally, we beat him and got our original appearance back. It's pretty weird that the last boss was a regular Sonic, but nevertheless, Thanks to him, we were able to become normal again. Now let's get straight into this special forces car and go straight to the next game. In fact, we need to finish this game as soon as possible because since yesterday, we still haven't been able to get our old appearance back. I think we really need to try hard to get it back. Okay, we now ran out into the school corridor and I think we now just need to run forward without being distracted by anything because this is our only way to return to our previous appearance. I think it will take us quite a long time because this game is quite long and last time we couldn't even finish it completely. I hope we can do it. And by the way, today we are playing on the medium difficulty level. I don't think this difficulty level will make it much harder for us to complete this game, but I really hope that it really won't be that hard for us. Oh no! This red monster has appeared and now he's running right after us. Lord, I think we need to get away from him really fast. This test is absolutely not difficult and we can handle it. All you need to do here is just avoid these lockers that are lying on the floor and just run. I think we'll really handle this test very easily. It's absolutely not difficult. Okay, we just run along this corridor and that's it. In fact, I thought that this monster was a little faster. Great. We finally got here and now this passage is blocked by debris. Okay, it looks like this guy won't be able to reach us. And now we have to try really hard to find a way out. It's very strange that some lava appeared on the floor here. Although wait, it's not lava, it's some very hot soup. Okay, we need to try not to fall into it in order not to die. We got to some other room, and now we're going to jump on these vegetables in this big sea of soup. I think this situation is the most idiotic. Okay, let's just move forward. And by the way, it looks like touching this hot stove doesn't actually kill us. It only damages us. We finally got to the top, and I'm very happy about it. By the way, it's quite strange that this school had such rusty metal shelves. It seems to me that the administration of this school allocated very little money for the kitchen. We found a way out of this ventilation labyrinth. Okay, that was really quite long. It's good that we can cut it for our subscribers and they won't see it. Now we're in some room in which for some reason there is hot magma on the floor. It looks like now we are in a gym. Okay, I think that here we will have to completely pass all these tests without any difficulties. I actually remember how we played this game last time, and some of the challenges here are actually a bit more difficult. It looks like it won't be that easy after all. But I don't think that it will cause us a huge difficulty. The most important thing is to really go through this whole game to the end today. We just threw this basketball into the hoop and now we will need to move all these figures to that strange thing. All that remains is to move the cylinder there and we can finally move on. In fact, this test is really quite interesting and it seems to me that many developers of similar modes should take a closer look at adding similar tests to their games. And now we've reached the window in this gym. Look, this red monster is right in the stadium. I think we'll have to run to it and try to fight it. In fact, it was the most boring and dull fight because all we had to do was just take this stone and throw it at this monster. It actually lasted quite a long time. So we specially sped up this moment for you because even we were bored playing it. Oh my God, it's finally over. I thought this fight would last forever. 
Okay, good thing we were finally able to finish this. Now we're heading to the dungeon to find this monster and defeat it once and for all. I hope this descent won't take us too much time, because it seems to me that I'm already starting to get very angry about my appearance. I really want to quickly return to my previous appearance, and that's why I'm in a great hurry to finish this game. These platforms under our feet are disappearing. Okay, it looks like this is one of the complications of this difficulty level. By the way, we have been playing this game for 10 minutes already, and we have only reached the middle of the game. I did not think that the complete passage of this game would take us more than 20 minutes. This game is really very long. It would be great if after completing this game, we returned our previous appearance forever. I really hope that we can really do it. Okay, now we just need to move forward no matter what. By the way, we constantly pick up these strange coins. I'm really interested to know what they are for. Maybe we can spend them in some store or something like that. But it seems to me that we will need to earn a lot of coins in order to buy ourselves anything. Look! It looks like there's a test with a huge boulder waiting for us there. Okay, we've seen this in a lot of other games, but here it looks like it's set up completely differently. Now we need to hide behind these covers. By the way, this boulder has a very strange animation. It seems to slow down a little, and it really irritates me a lot. But I think we will pass this test quite quickly. After all, it has never been difficult in any game. Do we really need to hide in this pit? Okay, we've never seen such shelters before. It's unusual when this boulder rolls right over you. Well, okay, this test is over, and we have four more locations ahead. Okay, I think we've reached some core of the earth because there are lava waterfalls and magma on the floor. I think it would be too hot there, but I'm looking for logic in Roblox again. It seems to me that this makes absolutely no sense. By the way, it seems to me that this was one of the easiest locations to complete because here all we need to do is just jump on square platforms and it was really very easy. It seems to me that towards the end of the game, the developers really got lazy about making it. We got to some giant statue of this monster. It looks like this cave belongs to him. Well, it seems to me that everything is really much more complicated here in terms of storytelling. It seems to me that in this game, I will really go down endlessly. But it seems that I already see some location in which we will have to do something serious. It seems that there is a giant red monster waiting for us there that we will have to defeat. Yeah, look, it's that same red monster. What the hell is it like what I just wrote? I'll have to fight him, but I hope that the mechanics of the battle against him will be slightly different and not like it was last time because just throwing stones at him was extremely boring. And as you can guess, this boss fight was actually no different from the previous one, except that he sometimes accelerated and ran at us. Well, this boss fight was pretty simple, but I think that the developers will someday make it a little more difficult and interesting. Oh my god, we finally got to the very end. I didn't believe that we could finally defeat this boss, but finally it happened, and the strangest thing is that there are still two whole locations ahead of us, and I hope that they will be a little easier than the previous ones. But this location is actually really quite difficult. But actually, that's exactly what I wanted because all the previous challenges were more boring than fun for me. Okay, now we got to some warehouse where acid was spilled, and now we need to move on. By the way, just look at this laser. It looks like it will be really quite difficult to get through it. But in fact, it's cool that this laser doesn't kill us completely, but only damages us. Okay, we finally got out of there, and now we need to move on through some kind of sewer. It looks like we are as close as possible to the exit from here. Okay, now, we need to get past these fans so that they don't touch us with their blades. It seems to me that the exit from here is already as close to us as possible. And we have almost reached it. Oh my god! We finally got here! This is the helicopter we're flying out of here on. I can't believe we finally beat this game, and it actually took us 20 minutes to beat this game. Okay, 
It looks like this was the longest playthrough, and we're finally back to normal. Now let's move on straight to the next game. Wait, Louie. But we've already escaped from some underwater prison. I remember that for sure. We did that just recently. But it looks like this underwater prison is completely different. Yes, you are right. But this is a scary underwater prison. And here all the bosses and locations are much scarier than in the previous underwater prison. I already understood it. Everything here looks really scary. And by the way, it seems to me that there will be much more water in this prison. Well, now let's go to the location with the first boss and see what he looks like. Wait, is it just me or is there a lot more than just one boss here? But by the way, they still haven't noticed us. Maybe they don't notice us solely because we're swimming underwater. I think we don't need to swim to the surface now because otherwise they will notice us. Okay, we swam to the stairs. Just look. After we swam to the stairs, they all started swimming in our direction. But it looks like we were way ahead of them. There were four bosses here. This is the first time I've seen Barry's Prison Escape have four bosses. That's a really huge number. I think if there wasn't water here, we wouldn't have a chance to hide alone. Now we need to dig a tunnel into the toilet room. By the way, there is also a lot of water here, and I think that this water should not hinder us too much. By the way, the physics here is quite strange, but we managed to start digging this passage, and now we are finally in the dungeon. By the way, we have already seen a similar dungeon somewhere. Yes, in addition to various marine paraphernalia, there are also cubes and even a character from the amazing Digital Circus. It seems to me extremely strange that he is here, but in fact, it is not particularly important. By the way, just look. The developers also added water to this corridor. By the way, there really is a lot of water here, but it seems to me that we move along it even faster than if we were walking. The most important thing is not to swim in it, but just jump endlessly. We got through this corridor without any difficulties, and now we will go up this ladder and see the second boss. By the way, there is also a lot of water here, and this is the second creepy boss. But this time he has a torch in his hands. It's good that we don't have to swim away from him, otherwise I think it would be impossible. But fortunately, we were able to get through all of this. And now we can go up these half-ruined steps. I'm very happy about it. And by the way, this is really the most... It's strange that there are a lot of characters from the amazing Digital Circus in this location. It seems like the developers of this game took Escape from the Circus Prison as a basis, and that's why there are so many of these characters. But in fact, I'm even glad about this because I just adore these guys. And we finally got to the test with energy drinks. Well, okay, let's drink this energy drink and run forward. By the way, in this test, there is also quite a lot of water. But the level of this water does not reach the platforms on which we run, so we cannot be afraid of it. And by the way, it is quite funny that there are really a lot of sharks here. But in fact, all these sharks are decorative and they are absolutely not dangerous. It seems to me that they do not pose any danger. And even if we ran past them, they would not even attack us. Okay, now let's go for this ladder. By the way, I really like that. Unlike the previous underwater prison, here the water takes up much more space. It seems to me that this underwater prison is much cooler than the previous one. And by the way, in fact, there is nothing scary here anymore. We are very quickly coping with these tests. Today we have already climbed the stairs and now we need to overcome the bridge with the fan. By the way, under this bridge there is also a lot of water and the spikes that are in this water even slightly sank. Okay, now we need to go straight to the pipes and then we will go to the test with the valve. Okay, I really hope we pass this test with ease. And by the way, the developers chose very strange colors for the design here because the color of these pipes blended in with the walls. Okay, now let's start turning all these screws and head straight to the next test in this map. In fact, I really hoped that there would be a huge amount of water in this test, but unfortunately there is absolutely none. This test is never changed at all, regardless of the conditions or scenery. Everything here always remains the same, and this really irritates me. 
That's why I always try to pass this test as soon as possible in order to go to the next stage because these tests really start to make me very angry. And by the way, we've already reached the ventilation. Now we need to overcome it and we'll end up right in the fan race. Here comes the fan race. Let's start it right away. Look, there really are a lot of obstacles here. Besides the sharks, there are also a lot of characters from the amazing digital circus. But I think that in reality, they are transparent and we could fly through them. We finally managed to overcome this challenge and now we can jump straight into the wind tunnel. Wow. It turns out the characters from the Amazing Digital Circus were even here. And now you finally got here. And this location is also half filled with water. OK, actually getting through this location will be quite difficult because we will need to jump and shoot at this boss at the same time because we can't stand in one place because we immediately start swimming in this water. By the way, this boss is absolutely not scary. He's just a regular berry with a swimming mask. Okay, in fact, it's really quite difficult to defeat him because we need to close the distance with him. Wait, what happened? We used this bug and almost flew up the hill, but for some reason we continue to fly in the same plane. This makes me very wary and scared. It looks like some kind of bug happened here, and we need to reset our character. It looks like this game has quite a lot of bugs, too. Okay, I think we really should reset our character. And by the way, we have some strange items in our inventory. We haven't even tried clicking on them. I think we'll try using the jetpack right now. Wow, look! It turns out we really do have a jetpack, but for some reason we're not flying up. Okay, that's really the maximum. Strange. Well, it looks like we'll have to get to the very top on our own. In fact, this jetpack really does speed us up a little. I think we should use this drink to increase the power of the jump and under this influence, get to the very top of this wind tunnel. I think we will pass this test quickly enough and without outside help because we are professionals in passing this game. And by the way, it seems that this drink really works because we began to jump much higher. Okay, I think we should go straight to the bridge challenge and I think we can jump straight to the top. Great! Bluey, I think we have pretty good jumping power and we can basically jump over all these gaps even without the bridges. Okay, now let's go straight to the final boss. I'm really curious if these boosts will help us defeat this boss. Look, this boss just spawned and we can jump really high and shoot him in midair. I think this can really help us defeat him. I think we should keep shooting at him. His HP is dropping pretty fast, but I think he's also getting closer to us because he's able to get to us. By the way, wait, Bluey. I think we can jump over that fence. Are you suggesting that I run away from this boss? Actually, we've never done that before, but the idea sounds pretty interesting. We can jump over that fence right now and get straight into that car. This idea sounds really quite interesting, and I really want to know what will actually happen when we get into this car. Maybe this giant robot will try to break this fence and get to us. Okay, we're already in the car. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Oh my God, we've never gotten this far. Wait, seriously? We just drove away from this boss and that's it? Okay, this is really the weirdest thing ever but now I think we can head straight to the next game. It's a good thing we're not such angry dogs as he is because otherwise people wouldn't like us very much. And by the way, we just threw some porcelain vase down. Maybe this dog will get mad at us because of that. I hope that he won't have time to get angry with us and we will be able to escape from him. And by the way, now we have lowered these platforms down and now we need to go down the zip line. I hope that he won't have time to get angry with us and we will be able to escape from him. And by the way, now we have lowered these platforms down and now we need to go down the zip line. Well, okay. Looks like now we need to take these boards and use them as bridges. And I think we can use the same life hack here that we use in the Barry Prison Escape. I think this is a great idea because this way we will pass this game much faster. And by the way, this game allows us to do this. Great. 
Now, with the help of one board, we will be able to pass this whole test without going back. There's one last chasm left. Great! We were able to install this bridge again. It would be great if we could take it with us, but I don't think it's worth it. And now we need to climb this extremely strange spiral staircase. It's quite strange that so many developers use this particular spiral staircase scheme. It seems to me that it would be much easier if they actually placed the steps here. Your idea actually sounds much more logical. Oh no, look! It's Tom the cat and he's running after us. Okay, I think we need to press this button first and then go up to the second floor in order to escape from him through the ventilation. Wait, Bluey! Right after we saw him, we were back to being creepy red creatures. Oh my god, it seems like every game that has bosses now, we become these monsters. I think this is already pretty unhealthy. Okay, now we need to get through this game as quickly as possible so that we can return to our normal appearance. And now we run forward through the ventilation. By the way, I don't even remember what test will happen next. Let's see. Oh, it looks like now, with the help of this extended bridge, we need to get to the next platform and go forward. And by the way, there is a little dog down below, but I think we shouldn't go to him. Looks like there was a carpet with a picture of Mr. Beast. Okay, it's pretty weird to see him in this game. Maybe the creators of this game are just his big fans. And now we go forward along this pipe. Now we need to run along it in order to get to the next vent. By the way, there are really a lot of ventilations in this game. It seems that the creators of this game are also huge fans of these damn ventilations. Okay, now we need to move on. Now we will need to jump on these platforms. And I think that this will be quite easy because the distance between these platforms is quite small. By the way, I completely agree with you about ventilation. It seems to me 